So let's take these boxes and have us say back to the client. So imagine that I'm the client and I can say, let me see if I understand, Don, what brings you here is, that's 1B, okay? And that you came of your own volition because you could see that this is a problem. Is that indeed correct? And moreover, what brings you here is, and now I'm going down to box two. And what is box two is I'm going to say, well, as I understand it, as you reported, what bringing you here is you're struggling with, and I'm going to go public with the nature of the symptomatology. And then moreover, say, it seems to me, as you describe it, that sometimes it's worse than others. Sometimes you can experience the difficulty sleeping, the ruminations, the, the flashbacks, uh, the, the, the notion that life isn't worth living, that sometimes it's really bad and other times you're able to keep going in spite of, is that what you're saying? And this developed when? And the impact of that is, and, and let me see, Don, if I understand, in addition, and every time you would hear me say to a client, in addition, you now know I'm working box three. I'm looking for the co-occurrent behavior, and I want to know whether it occurred before, during, or after your presenting problem of box two. And the impact of this on a day-to-day -day basis is, and, and moreover, this seems to be made worse and exacerbated by, so I'm now down to box four. So every time you hear me say, in addition, you now know I'm working box three. When you hear me say to the client, seems to be made worse by and exacerbated by and some of the stressful events you're living through or have gone through and what lingers from that are and the conclusions you draw about yourself and are. And for this, you actually saw some kind of assistance for help along the way. Is, is that indeed the case? And, and, and was that in any way, Don, helpful? It, it, in what, what way was it helpful? And given that it worked once, were you able to stick with it? Or did you? And Don, permit me to ask, in spite of boxes one to five, you've been able to accomplish what? You've done what? So I'm now going for the rest of the story in box six. And of these different areas, Don, where do you think we should begin? So instead of my acting as a surrogate frontal lobe for my clients. I am going to engage the client in a collaboration on trying to figure out how indeed we should proceed. So my approach to a therapist, therapy is both respectful and highly transparent. And then I'm gonna say, Don, if in fact, if we were making progress, what would we see change? even in the short term, and, 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 and what should our long-term goals be? And Don, permit me to ask one last question, if I may. Can you foresee, can you envision anything that might get in the way that we can learn to anticipate and address? So I'm now doing box nine. Ken, can you go back to my nine boxes in the prior slide? Okay. So I am proposing that there is nothing that you do for a living as a clinician that I have not covered in these nine boxes. <laughs>